So for the next portion of this graphics uh, setup, what we're going to do is we're going to look at user input. And in XNA, user input can come in a variety of different ways, and you can be creative and in, even incorporate more. So by default, XNA mainly deals with things like Xbox 360 controllers, keyboards, mice, and if you're clever, you might be able to hook up Xbox Connect or whatnot. Um, and you can get it all integrated together and perform some pretty cool stuff. Now, what we're going to focus on for the next few modules is the main three, which involve the uh, Xbox 360 controller, the keyboard, and the mouse. And we're going to start off with the easiest one, which is the Xbox 360 controller. And what this is going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to handle things like analog joysticks, the button presses, and the difference between digital and analog input. Um, which we'll cover in just one moment. When we're talking about the keyboard, what we're going to deal with is whether a key is currently pressed or not. Simple as that. When you have a keyboard, that's all you can do. You know, there's no uh, partially pressed or anything like that. It's either pressed or it isn't. And with a mouse, we're going to be able to deal with positional data as well as click data. So we'll be able to detect whether the mouse is currently clicked in, where it's clicked, and um, that type of information. So that's what we're going to do for user input.